Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I've got something here a little bit different. I was approached by these developers that wanted to know if I wanted to take a look at this Fugue and Void game. This is not a, a typical game of what I'm used to. This is more of an experience. I mean, you interact with it. But nothing's going to kill you, and the idea is it's supposed to be, I don't know, more mind effect than anything else. But it's called Fugue and Void. And the whole gist of this is to try to get through the maze of the game and experience all the sights and sounds. For I've been told the best thing you can do with watching this is to put your headphones on, turn out the lights, and just get into it so this is not going to be a lot of killing this is not going to be anything chasing me there might be some creepy moments but honestly you're as safe as you can be this this is just more of what we call an experience now there's a very very long introduction somewhere around 10 minutes from what I've been told so what I will do is I will figure out where that is and if you want to skip ahead to the more interesting aspects of it go ahead and do so but as I said I wanted to be able to give these developers a chance just do a quick review I will honestly tell you I don't know if this is the same every time or if every time it's different And if you guys are not interested in seeing something like this, that's perfectly fine too. I just like things that are a little bit different. But we'll see what happens when we get through this. And I will talk a little bit. As you can see, whatever this is, is moving in real slow. Just enjoy the music. Yeah, this this is really creepy. It's like that long tunnel you hear about with the light at the end. Okay, now this is really strange. 
it's kind of hard to determine if that's a path or a pillar that keeps growing stacked with boxes if you kind of look at it in different perspectives it actually can be both Okay, that's weird. Yeah, this definitely can get you a little in the creep zone. Okay, look like there's a little guy walking up some stairs on the left. definitely a bit on the odd side if you close your eyes the music it tends to make you very relaxed and even tired Looks a little bit like the Death Star. All right, guys, I think we have gotten almost to the interactive portion of this. Uh, 
And this is it. So I'm just going to move forward. I can jump. Hit shift, you'll walk a little faster. This is kind of strange, isn't it? You won't fall into the water, so don't worry about that. Like I said, there are no dangers here. This is just about experiencing sights, sounds, patterns. The last time I checked this out, I went up the right staircase. Let's go up the left one this time. I don't think these are doors at all. They're just there for appearances. And again, this is just... More the same, except I just went a different way. You can't get through here. You have no other option but to try... Oh! <laughs> That's pretty much the only way you go is down. where I just fell out of. That makes you wonder because there's another one right there too. I don't know what that's about, but it's plenty creepy. There's some kind of button there that does something. I tried, when I first went here, I tried looking around everywhere, but there really isn't anything. You do have to step on the button. Yep, it opens that up. Now you're in this new location. I can't help you with the lights. The problem with this is there's pretty much no way to increase your light, you just got to walk through the dark. That's a dead end, so we got to go this way. This is really weird, isn't it? <laughs> Never really done anything quite like this before. You can't get through there, so you gotta go up these steps. Not sure what the heck these are. They don't do anything. I can't do anything with them. You can't crouch, so you have to go around. So I thought they'd be shooting lasers or something at first. But no, they're just there. Alright, there is... As far as I can tell, there is not another way out. 
as I said before, you cannot get hurt. So my guess that's going to open up that door to whatever's up there. So before I open that up, I'm going to see what's back here. Looks like two staircases and a bunch of pillars. Okay, that one won't open. This one is open. That's still blocked. There's another stairs. Dead end, dead end. Okay, now we're at the very top of that thing we were looking at. There are nothing in these alcoves, I'll tell you, I've checked. And you can't get up here. But there's another button. I have no idea what it's opening up, but it opened up something. All right, let's go around this way. Nothing there. There's another button. That's creepy enough. Okay, we're now on the other side of that area. So if you remember, there is a stair here. I'll be honest, I do not know what the heck that opened. I'm guessing it might have opened up this staircase that I was trying to get up before. Yep, but it was a dead end. Now it's not a dead end. Where does that take you? No place that you haven't already been. So, what we'll do is we'll just follow this down. Follow this down. I have no idea where that just opened. It's hard to say. Alright, let's step on the big one. I'm telling you, this is creepy. You really feel like there should be something that's going to jump out at you. Now I have to go in this hole! <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm cool. It's all good. I can't interact with that. Okay, that's really strange. And other than that, I cannot see a plastic thing. If there's passageways or something. Let's just follow the light. That's probably the best thing to do. I feel like gizmo. Bright light, bright light. Bright light, bright light. So, 
guess we just go down one little jump at a time oh it looks like we're going in that room where all that weird stuff was okay, this is some kind of a maze Can't go that way. I am. I think I'm stuck. Maybe not. This looks nice and open. I see the light. Okay, I need to go down this way, I guess. There we go, we got out. That's really weird. Okay, now, which way do we go? Right, left, does it matter? Let's go right. Right's always right. Yeah, I don't think it really mattered which way you went. Looks like it's the same on both sides. And there's no stairs down, so we're going to have to do jump down. One of those little boxes, like I saw in there, that were glowing. Okay, what? Oh, that's creepy. Can't get through there, but there's some kind of light over here. Again, you got to remember a lot of these things are symmetrical, so they what's on one side's on the other. Wowzers! What is all this stuff? This is so cool. Somebody spent a lot of time coming up with this kind of thing. Ooh, long hallway. There's nothing really on either side. Some kind of support beams, that's about it. Okay, what happened? Everything went black. Okay. We are, where the heck are we? Ooh. Okay, it's just a wall. <laughs> oh, another one of those things. That was creepy. No, oh my gosh, now it's going up. Or am I going down? Uh, really, I don't know. I might be going down. Well, I can't see anything around me. Looks like another hole. Boom. I'm not going into the dark recesses without a flashlight. These look like elevators. Where does this go? Whoa. That's a big drop. It's an enormous room. Yeah, I thought I'd get a picture of that because I'm not sure what kind of thumbnail to give this, honestly. Where does this go? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's the thing. You don't know necessarily where you're going, so you're just going. <laughs> so I guess you could fall down in there if you're not careful. Not sure what I'm doing so far or where I'm supposed to be going. But that's not it. Oop. That was it. I guess. <laughs> all right. This is this is a long. Okay. What's all that about? That's creepy. So is the music. Okay, this is apparently a dead end. That's all I was supposed to do, I guess. Ooh, what the heck? What is all this? It's like... Sorry about that, I'm having some issues with my mouse. Okay, whatever it was, it was short-lived. can't move at all. The heck? This is so strange. Yeah, I can't walk, I can't turn but just a tiny bit. I can jump. Okay. Guess I'm supposed to walk towards th that thing. This is so surreal. Okay, I am back in some kind of a room. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, okay, I can walk on this hole. Can't go outside there. What's all this about? I don't like the sound of that. But it seems harmless. Sounds like a bunch of howling monsters. Not sure what I'm supposed to do here, guys. Keep walking. Here's that thing again. Oh, I guess that's what I was supposed to do. Yeah. 
Oh. It's like I'm in the middle of that weird lit tunnel again. But I'm not moving. It looks like I can move forward. This is so strange. Okay. What the heck is this? Okay, I can't move except jump. This is what can happen to your septic system if you do not use Red X. <laughs> Okay, we're back into another structure here. Looks like I can go this way if I want. Just those two places. What are these, just like big pillars? or? Ooh, sand. Yeah, this is all sand. Okay, follow the stairs. Ooh, four buttons now. What? Well, let's see what they do. What about this one? Nothing. Okay, it opened that a little bit wider. I hope that's what I was supposed to do. I can tell you for sure. Ooh, I see sky. Well, we should be able to get through this. This looks like an arena where they throw this huge monster in and you would have to kill it or it would have to kill you. This is so weird. Oh, wow. Whatever that structure was, we're outside of it now. This looks kind of like a person, almost. Now, where are we? Oh, okay. Can I go this way? Uh, probably best to follow the pillars. Wherever they are, they're a long way across. That kind of looks like those big statues from Never Ending Story. The ones that will zap you and kill you instantly. A 
Looks like there's also a moon behind them. What the heck? This just gets weirder and weirder and weirder. And this looks like some kind of space station. What are those birds? And this kind of look like those things I saw earlier. Oh. Okay, now I'm back inside someplace. These look like weird Asian symbols or of some type. Can I go this way? Yep. Let's see what that opens up. Ah! Opens that up. Anyway, what's down here though? Nothing. So we've got to go this way. Oh, that's really creepy. What the heck? Am I supposed to walk under it? No. Am we just supposed to take a look at it, I guess? Or maybe the exit's on the other side. No? Well, this is getting really weird. It's like it changes colors and each time it's a different pattern of objects. that are encircling each other. Okay, that's weird looking. I don't know what the meaning of all this is supposed to be, but I'll, maybe I'll know by the end of it. Alright, what is that? Looks like a bunch of wires. How do I get out of here? Let me out! Let me out! Can't jump. Okay, I'm out. Okay. Not sure what that's about. Kind of reminds me of an old lava lamp, but other than that... don't have the faintest clue. I can't jump, move. All I can do is look at those strange colors. Ooh. Okay, I was in this chair. 
Oh, I bet this is all some kind of a mind control thing. And I just came to. Yep, there's that little gas symbol on there. Different pictures from different places. I saw all those. Check it out. There's more right here. Well, that is creepy enough. Now I look like I'm in some high-rise Japanese city. Maybe Tokyo? Alright, um... Disappearing again. For A. Thanks for playing. That is such a weird thing. Yeah, I just wanted to keep checking it out to see what the heck was going to happen next. Fugue and Void. I guess I'm still waiting to see if there's anything else going to happen, like an encore or something. Not sure what I'm supposed to do. And well, the music's going away. <laughs> 